Sorry. <laughs> Got to laugh off the nerves. <laughs> Stop it. Hello, welcome to The Cindy Show with Lily and Rosie. If you're new with us, we review Cinderella movie adaptations and rank them. Today we will be reviewing the 2021 Three Wishes for Cinderella, starring Astrid S. and Sangeez Al. I know I'm mispronouncing that, so let me know if you hear the right version. So this movie is, um, it's a medieval version of Cinderella that takes place in Norway. It's mm -hmm. shot in Norwegian, dubbed over in English. Mm -hmm. Um... This one is kind of your typical Cinderella movie, only this one, there is no fairy godmother. Instead of a fairy godmother, Cinderella gets an acorn that gives her three wishes. Mm -hmm. um, she meets the prince early on in the movie, before the ball, and they have a connection. Mm -hmm. um, and then she gets the acorn, and she makes a wish to be dressed as a man so that she can go hang out with the prince some more. Um, he... Uh, and they interact and they have a connection again like he he feels like he knows her um, and then her second wish is to go to the ball dressed in her mother's dress she goes to the ball she dances with the prince um, he has a connection with her but he doesn't know that she's the one he met at the beginning of the film and he doesn't know she was the one dressed as a man that he meets mm -hmm. she runs away from the ball because she's afraid that her um her stepmother and her one stepsister are going to recognize her. And of course, the prince goes after her and goes searching for her. Um, you wanted to talk about the uh, the set of this one. Yeah. Yeah. So this is unlike any Cinderella movie that I have ever seen. Um, it is very beautifully shot um, in or in Norway. There are there's lots of ice landscapes and things like that that you never see in a Cinderella movie, and I've never seen anything like it really in any other movie. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, there was a bit of a downside though because the English dubbed over, um, you could tell it was a really rough translation, and I'm sure it made a lot more sense in Norwegian, <laughs> like it was actually being spoken. Um, so I kind of wish that I could go back and watch it in Norwegian, um, with like the Norwegian subtitles or something so that I could actually hear what they were actually saying. Cause it was kind of rough in some places. That was the kind of the biggest downside of the film. Yeah. yeah it, uh, the, the English actors who voiced over it didn't sound quite right. Yeah. Yeah. I wish that, I wish we would have watched it, um, in in the language that they the actors actually spoke maybe with subtitles because yeah that was that was hard the yeah. translation didn't feel yeah. right the um the time period was like a medieval time period um a very unique kind of medieval um a lot of fur you know like um people wearing a lot of fur just um, in a lot of clothes yeah a lot of clothes very um, cold the stepmother was really scary <laughs> um she had like bleached blonde hair um that she wore up the whole time and she was just terrifying like very yeah. terrifying like on a different level like yes like in the Kate Blanchett's um stepmother in the 2015 version she was like scary and mean and everything whole different level oh whole like, different level <laughs> the the stepmother and the stepsisters are always mean mm -hmm. but man I don't think I've ever watched a Cinderella movie where the stepmother was creepy or mm -hmm. scary. Yeah. Usually she's just kind of goofy um, and, and kind of pathetic. Mm -hmm. This one, she was scary. Yeah, like, it's like at any ugh. moment she could like pull out a whip or something. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, it felt She like was that. freaky. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, um, in this one, kind of a, a little... Um, twist to it is Cinderella likes to go hunting. She's yeah. really good with a bow and arrow, mm -hmm. which I thought was kind of original, um, added character to her. Yeah, um, that's cool. Also, in this one, they didn't kiss at the yeah. end. They never mm -hmm. kissed. Same as Cinderfella. There was no kiss. Yeah. Um, which was kind of refreshing. Yeah. Um, and in this one, you wanted to talk about the prince in the end with the shoe. Yes. So at the end, you know, um, the prince discovers that um, she's Cinderella and she's the girl that he met at the beginning of the movie. <clears throat> but he doesn't insist that she try on the shoe that was left. Um, and that, I really love that. I was like, yes, thank you <laughs> when I heard that because... Um, 
he knew it was her. He didn't need to tr have her try on a stupid shoe, you know, like sh he knew that it was her. And so that was really refreshing that he just knew and he knew he knew it was her. And so that was good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end, it's kind of cool. She saves him. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, a lot of the time it's the reverse where he's the one who finally finds out it's her and he takes her out of this kind of slavery that she's in mm -hmm. um, with her stepmother and step step family. But at the end, it's, it's kind of cool. She uh, she saves him, which yeah. is kind of different. Mm -hmm. um, you can watch the movie on YouTube. Yes. Um, <clears throat> it's like $3.99 or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. This one had a couple similarities to some other Cinderella movies. Um, same as the 2015 version. Uh, when she goes to the ball, she's wearing her mother's dress. Mm -hmm. And then also same as the 2015 version. Um, I don't know if this was intentional. No, it was very small. But when the prince sees her and she comes up to him at the ball, he kind of loses his words and he tries to ask her to dance. Mm -hmm. And she kind of has mm -hmm. to finish for him. Like, yeah. you asking me to dance? Mm -hmm. um, it's the same as the 2015. Kind of cool. Version. And... The Rodgers and Hammerstein's version, um, where before he dances with Cinderella, he dances with her stepsister. Mm -hmm. um, and it's funny, the same as th this one is similar to that one because the stepsister is all giggly. Yeah, she starts laughing and just kind of <laughs> laughing hysterically for no reason. Yeah. And I don't know, like, if they were trying to copy Roger and Hammerstein. I mean, it's... Who knows? It could be a coincidence, but yeah, yeah. Um, funny. did we mention the, um, this is a, um, this movie was a remake of a Russian film of the same name from 1973. Um, so I'm not sure which <clears throat> came first. I know that Roger and Hammerstein, um, that version has been around for a very long time. Yeah. So it may have come out before, um, 1973 even. Yeah. I don't know. I think so. Yeah. Cause there's the, um, um, Julie Andrews version yeah. that's really old. <laughs> yeah. So, which we will probably review. We will. Eventually. <laughs> this one, um, something I really liked about this one is the horses and the costumes. Yeah. yeah. The horses were beautiful. Yeah. And the costumes. Nice Cinderella, the Cinderella figure usually always has a really nice dress. Mm -hmm. um, and usually the costumes in the movies are pretty good. I, I loved her dress. Yeah. In this one. Yeah. It was beautiful. It yeah. kind of reminded me of Galadriel from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the um, the costuming and everything. A lot about this movie felt really original. Just um, really original. Something we hadn't seen before. Um, the, the Cinderella story is told over and over again um, in various different ways. But we had never seen quite like this one yeah i felt like and i, was watching I think because new. it's like a foreign film it, it felt different to us even with all the costuming and stuff because it wasn't like it wasn't an american filmed in medieval times if that makes any sense like it, it had a different culture to it yeah you know? almost like a viking feel yeah a bit yeah um we were talking about rating this one a 6.5 yes um the the main downsides of this one, just kind of two downsides for me, mm -hmm. was the, the translation to English was cringy. One downside that we haven't talked about is they had kind of an awkward, out of the blue, gay romance, mm -hmm. which we did not like. They actually had um, two men kiss at the end that was very out of the blue, which was ironic because the prince and Cinderella didn't even kiss. Mm -hmm. So this, this, it was a brief quiz, but it was still there. Yeah. Um, which felt very forced. Yeah, it was very forced. Just, um, just another example of, you know, trying to fit, you know, the current times things in, trying to please everyone. It, it just, it felt so out of line. And like, no matter where you are on that whole thing uh, with, you know, gay romance and everything, it, that didn't change the fact that it didn't belong there in that Cinderella story. No. You know, like, there's there's no, like, this is, you're telling the Cinderella story that you don't need to fit your own agendas into everything, yeah. you know? And so it felt really out of place. And so if we had to change something, we would definitely change that. Definitely. Yeah, That that's the, my least favorite part about the film, um, which unfortunately, it, it felt big. I would have rated this higher if mm -hmm. it hadn't been for that. Um, yeah. It... Yeah, it very out of place. 
um, especially given the fact that they they threw that kiss in. And the two main characters who people watch the film to see fall in love didn't mm-hmm. even kiss. Yeah. People watch a Cinderella movie adaptation to see the Cinderella figure and the prince figure fall in love. Yeah. They don't watch it for those other agenda things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, about it so for this one. I was, um, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, we had to discuss the rating for a little bit. We kind of had to sleep on it, right? Yeah. We weren't sure what we were going to rate rate it as soon as we watched it. Um, but we did defi- decide on the 6.5, which is pretty high. Like, yeah. I think really the costumes and the amazing set from Norway and everything, all the ice, really just made it a great thing to watch. Yeah, I liked the actors too. The yeah. actress who played uh, Cinderella, Astrid S., she's, she's beautiful and she was very good at mm-hmm. her role. Um, yeah, and she is actually a singer. Um, you can find her work on Spotify. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. All righty. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, let us know what Cinderella movie adaptation you would like us to review next in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.